to the Daily Technical Forex Report for the 16th of July. My name is Andrew Shinesky. I am a technical analyst at Triumph Fix, and traditionally we start our forecast with the EURUSD currency pair. The price corrected downwards yesterday and now it's okay because we see the local consolidation between two strong moving levels. They are the support 1.1237 and the resistance 1.1280. Given that the large volume is concentrated within this consolidation, we can open new position only after the sharp and confident exit of the price from it. Moreover, the break of movement must be supported by the large volume, which will be a more accurate signal for entering the market. While the price is trading inside this range, we better stay out of the market. The power the price showed an abrupt and confident fall supported by the increased volume and now is testing the level of support 1.2491. Hence, we can regard the scenario of its breakdown, which will be a great signal for opening short positions. The fall must be keen and supported by the large volume. A stop should be placed above the breakdown volume bar and the potential of the deal is more than 100 points. So with a pound, short positions after the constant breakdown of the level of support. The yen. The price is still trading inside the local consolidation between two strong volume levels. They are the support 107.60 and the resistance 108.96. Therefore, the best solution with this instrument is just to wait for a break of one of these levels and the sharp exit of the price from the range and only in such case we can open new positions. Furthermore, the movement must be abrupt and supported by the large volume, which will be a more secure signal for entering the market. While the price is trading inside this range, we better omit this instrument from our trading plan. The Canadian dollar. The price sharply corrected upwards yesterday and now is located in the middle of the long range between the new level of support 1.3023 and the previous level of resistance 1.3084. Hence, we can consider new trading scenarios only after the confident and keen exit of the price from this consolidation. The breakout movement must be rapid, sure and supported by the large volume, which will be a more accurate and reliable signal for entering the market. While the price is traded within this consolidation, we better stay out of the market. The Australian dollar. The price continued growing and now is testing the level of resistance, the local maximum 0.7036. Therefore, our previous scenario remains relevant. We can and should reckon a scenario for the breakout, which will be a great signal for opening long positions. The surge must be abrupt, rapid and supported by the large volume. A stop should be placed below the breakout volume bar and the potential of the deal is more than 80 pips. So with the Australian dollar, long position after the continent and sharp breakout of the level of resistance. And our last instrument for today is gold. The price is still located in the middle of the local consolidation between two strong volume levels. They are the support 1383.30 and the resistance 1435.30. The large volume is concentrated inside this range. Hence, we can open new positions on after the confident exit of the price from it. Furthermore, the breakout movement must be supported by the large volume, which will be a more accurate and reliable signal for entering the market. While the price is located within this range, we better omit this instrument from our trading plan. Let's take a look at the sentiment of the market. This technical indicator total confirms our trading scenarios with the pound and the Australian dollar, which is a good additional signal. As with other instruments, we can use this technical indicator on after the sharp exit of prices from local consolidations. For today, it's all. Thank you guys for watching. Hope this forecast will be useful for you. Subscribe to our channel to stay in touch with the latest researches. Take care. Bye-bye.